Well, we moved from one Kate Beckinsale film to the next, and this one is even worse, and it's called Whiteout. It's one of those films that it came and went, and I just didn't give two craps about it because nothing interesting happened in it. As a matter of fact, it's been nearly two weeks since I've seen it and really haven't thought about it once since I, I remembered I had to review it this week. Beckinsale plays a U.S. Marshal who, from what I can recollect, took a sabbatical in an Antarctica post to escape a tragedy in her life, yada, yada, yada. I would choose Florida personally, but that's me. Apparently, a discovery has been made, and just when she's about to turn in her badge, she discovers a body on the ice in the nick of time. Oh, and it's the first ever murder in the region. I'll be the first to say the premise is actually intriguing, and Beckinsale has been likable in many films, and even downright tremendous in films like Snow Angels, but she's not very compelling here at all. Tom Skerritt, a seasoned screen vet who has been great in quite a few films, just collects a paycheck here with a really uninspired turn. And Gabriel Mack, yes, the star of last year's dreadful film, The Spirit, is every bit as ha 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 good in this film than he was in that one. Normally I don't write actors off that quit this quick, but he's on two strikes with me right now. Even Robert Pattinson's on a higher level. I actually love one scene from a train wreck standpoint that had dialogue that was David Caruso level of bad. When Beckinsale says at the scene of the murder, this was no accident. She might as well have had sunglasses and just went like that and kneeled down. Honestly, come on. So simple yet so dreadful. Ugh. Basically, I just I found this to be CSI Antarctica with a bit more action and not very good either. The payoff was about as lame as War of the Worlds, and the movie itself was about as lame as, well, since we're on the topic, War of the Worlds. And this is just dreadfully acted, horribly directed, and poorly written. I enjoyed the whole Antarctic setting, and some of the scenes looked alright, but that's about it. Whiteout gets just one star out of five.